Hey guys, welcome back to The Wandering Wind, and today we're finishing off um, Chapter 1, Act 2, Farewell, Archaic Lord. Well, Indeed. hopefully we are. Cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Nice. Excellent. Do you know Madam Ping? Of course. That's suspicious. <laughs> but if you oh, yes, that old if you have the time, you can come over for tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. <laughs> Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. None better. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. Yep. So what's the next step of the hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Kites are <laughs> children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. Nice. I will explain it to you. But our next... Oh. Curious or curious? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go buy a kite. Up to the highest height. Let's go buy a kite to send it soaring. Sorry. Mary Poppins has ruined me. <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to kites and their references. Ah, Rainy Shan. You're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. <laughs> Would you like to take them now? Yes. Yes, thank, thank you. you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Nice. Zhang Wei. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. Fashion, economics, jewelry, and jade pottery, tea, perfumes, flora, and fauna. He knows Liu's favorite <laughs> Oh well, well, yeah. Because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> fun things. Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. Finely crafted toys are well loved <laughs> by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. Yep. I have made kites in Liyue <laughs> for 40 years. And I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. <laughs> the meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. Yep. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. Mm. The seven kites represent the seven. The seven archons. I took the liberty of coloring outside the <laughs> lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. Nice. I for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. Yep. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Nice. Ah, Paimon could dead name the four. <laughs> the design of this kite displays a firm <laughs> grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings mm -hmm. of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom in the passage of time. Yep. All justice mm -hmm. flows across the surface of the waters. War rages, rages like a flame. flame. As does that which the cryo archon once. <laughs> awesome. Well then, Granny Shan, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment. As for the payment, he says. Oh yeah, sure. And it's uh, let us take care of it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Allow me. Okay, all righty then. Hey, it's Charles. Did you arrange to meet here? <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I sure. see Mr. Zhang Lu's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price <laughs> tag nor his wallet. Right. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Well, it has and it and will. Perhaps Say that he cannot imagine himself <laughs> lacking money. Uh, has he not died of hunger yet? Good question, Paimon. You are a 
as fond of jokes as ever. <laughs> the rite of parting requires helping hands as well as material. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, oh no. Way, take this bag of money. We probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining. If you know <laughs> what I mean. Hmm. Seems I missed out on some interesting information here. Oh boy, child. What are you doing? More opportune moment next time. Mm. Okay, find three people. Hiring help? Sure. Adventure. Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. A most fair price. Let's negotiate. How about eleven even? And a ten even. There's five geo crystal flies. Yes, I okay. think it's worth about this much. I'll do it. Excellent. Because we'll actually get the extra money we don't spend back. So it's always good to try and secure at least some funding. A full day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Oh, come on. Whoa, that's expensive. Hero of Mons? Well, you may never have heard of this hero. But it seems you've... Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, 17,000. That sounds about good. Really? That's too little. Hard. Fine. Jeez. Nineteen thousand and no more. Ah. Uh. This is too. <sighs> Fine. Twenty thousand and that's a an final offer. Price will do. Dang. Who are, who are the takes friends? Hack and toe? Probably. So what's the let me see? We are still missing. No problem. That'll be done. Wait, let's talk prices. Fifteen thousand. Actually, no wait. Let's try twelve thousand. Let's see if we can go that low. Let me think. Ah, yes. Deal. Excellent. Talk to child downtown. Got it. <sighs> Ooh, string of pearls, one. Excellent. All, right. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash? You think you can buy us off with some loose change? No, no way. way. <laughs> well, how does mm -hmm. this sound? Well, what else do you need? No. Huh. There's definitely more to he's after. What else could the Fatui want? Are you getting are you forgetting what happened in Monster? Signora. You both need to calm down. Just what is this about? Uh... I know what it's about. Next, and it's you being a completely you. horrible person. I mean, For this we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Is everything okay? Everything yeah. is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surf. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be. Good. <laughs> Well, I mean, I wouldn't be either if I were a, a foreign spy trying to get information on the location of the corpse of a former god. I mean, former ruling deity. I mean, come on. Those things. I mean, if in Doctor Who the body of a Time Lord is 
is is a miracle and can be used to figure out all kinds of things, including probably the the uh, mysteries of regeneration. Then why would it not be so with the archons that you know, if you could get your hand on one one's body, that it would? Did they ever fix it? No, they did not. It's still not even. You are not in the right place. Reception is deserted. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. It's Chi Chi. <laughs> it's my favorite cryo baby. The reception, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chi Chi. Oh, the poor cryo baby. What are they doing to you, kid? <laughs> hey there. <laughs> Chi Chi is a zombie. <laughs> Her eyes are beautiful. Hi, Mon. If we're going to talk about height, you don't have anywhere to talk. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. <laughs> Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. That is such nonchalant delivery. Do zombies also count as Adepti? Who knows? Hmm. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Hmm. sell everlasting incense here excuse me sir did you bring your prescription i surely no prescription is needed to chi chi can get your medicine but only if you show chi chi your prescription these are chi chi's orders from chi chi <laughs> orders Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders <laughs> and somehow in this case the zombie issues her own orders to herself Mm. Chi Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. Okay then. How did you manage that? But Chi Chi helps you. You help Chi Chi. Only fair. <laughs> Only fair. New customers need to do favors for customer service staff. Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. Ah, peer-to-peer -peer -peer networking. Nice. Sometimes in Lyra, the art of the deal. Is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. <laughs> I don't even do. I'm a Glacian ballista and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. Hunt a what with the witch at the lair? Hmm. <laughs> ballista. I've heard of this device. This device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret installed on Mount Chinhong by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Or only mechanical device, he says. It was designed to automatically <laughs> fire at large monsters, protecting Lyra from external threats. Nice. Dr. Zhang Li, really? Apparently not quite. This <laughs> is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is, is a legendary animal. An adept beast. beast. Did you want to add it? No. Just let the cook what it looks like. Don't know. Oh, no. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from? Also don't know. <laughs> if you've ever switched over to the Japanese dub just because you don't like it or just because you can't stand the uh, um the the voice of Paimon or whatever. There it's it's so cute. The way that she says, Wakara Nai, you know, I don't know. 
in Japanese. It's so cute. You tell us if you remember anything else you don't remember. Very well. <laughs> Let's start by <laughs> investigating near the Guajong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. Maybe so. What the heck is a cocoa goat? I don't know. Well, let's find out, shall we? Oh, wait. We might meet one later. Might be Ganyu. Who knows? Could be Ganyu. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go look for the Guizhong Bonista. Over in Tianhan, Tianhong Pass. Ooh, mountain hung. Um, 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 um. <laughs> oh no. We're in trouble now. We got some. <laughs> ah, you're not nice. <laughs> there you go. There we go. One more. Oh, and one more. Another. <laughs> there we go. Ah, really? Nice. Best. All right, now. Yes, it is, Amber. Yes, it is. Oh, I gotta go up, don't I? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Crap. All righty. Crap. Really? There we go. Just had to know how to get through these things. And past these things. Expect the ballista. Hmm. <laughs> looks like it's been... Huge. I can totally <laughs> believe it took an adeptus to build this. Right. But <laughs> you would need. Right? Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device mm. is broken. Yep. Uh, what? It broke? Yep. After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. Yep. What are we gonna do? Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge power. Hmm. <laughs> you almost make it sound like I'm some sort of Bourgeois parasite <laughs> whose only utility lies in providing <laughs> of trivia on demand. That's bourgeois parasite, huh? Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case hmm. it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. Over here, maybe. Retrieve the spare part from where. So, what you're saying? That you actually understand the working principles? Oh, yes. A smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Nice. Tinker. Tinker toying. Where is that supply post? Here, post. Here, post, post, post. Opening a 
chest is like unwrapping a gift. I wonder. Could be as simple as. Yep, it is. <laughs> Nice. Excellent. Nice. Found it. Now I just had to fix it. <laughs> and it's good as new. Fix. Yay. Now we can use it. These parts look useful. Mm -hmm. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guajong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ah. Whoa. Now how do we turn it on? How do we turn it on, you say? We simply need to do this. Look, Look it even has a scope. It even has a scope. And over there, more nothing. Hey, just what do you think you're doing? Ah, and it's the treasure hoarder. So you fix up this turret. Not the <laughs> turret. A Guajong ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. Mm -hmm. Good manners. <laughs> well, so you good manners, old man. You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarder, <laughs> old man. This old man. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last it's time it's we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two <laughs> seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it? Yes, indeed, we have. Repairing is your faces, and that's if you get out of this alive. Uh. Uh, Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disrespectful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding. But you. And you will be reprimanded. You will face the wrath of the rock. For your disgraceful be behavior. Come on. Come on. There we go. Here we go. Yes. Hang. These low lights didn't know who they were messing with. Right? Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We, we should focus, focus on our contract, contract with Chichi. Oh, yeah, that. A search using <laughs> Guajong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby. 
save for the usual wildlife. What's mm. more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adeptibeast, as Chi Chi put it. Mm. Oh, jeez. Preparing this was a complete waste of time. I know when you go that far. <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Explain that we could not find a cocoa boat and review our next steps. Good idea. Uh -huh. We did our best. <laughs> Poor Chi Chi. She's going to have to learn the hard way. But before that, I'm going to go ahead and unlock this. Teleport waypoint up here. Not too far up, is it? Oh, might be. Yeah, well. Might be a bit too far up for me to get too easily. What the heck? I don't know what that was all about. No idea. Oh no, I'm not gonna run out of stamina before I get to the top. Maybe. But I might also get a second win right at the end. Or I'll still be able to make it. Come on, a little bit more. A little bit more, ah, there we go. Yay, there we are. Made it all the way to the top. And we're right at the top of Mount Tianhang. Well, part of it anyway. Well, let's see. I could possibly also make it up to the top of that one and get the other teleport waypoint over there. If I actually had the idea of being able to do that. Crap, really? Come on. Decided by destiny. Let me scry. No one escapes my sight. Go, go, Barry. Here we go. Yeah, that'll work. Huh. Where have you been hiding? All right. Ooh, and I got extra. Bits for rank EXP. Excellent. I could possibly get all the way to level 29 just on this. <laughs> all I need is another couple of points for finding another waypoint, and there we go. Yay. Come on. You can do this. Not that far up now. Stiff up or lift. Stiff up. Stiff up or lift there. Um, Beto. We'll do all right. You're almost there. See? You're almost to the next ledge. You'll be fine. You'll get there. Ah, well. I say that's a ledge. Is it a ledge? It might be a ledge. Could be a ledge. Or it could be just another. Eh, come on, come on, come on. Almost and jump. Okay. There we go. That's how we get there. And that's how we do things. <laughs> no 
Oh gosh. Is that a ruin hunter? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. So we avoid that thing like the plague for right now. Instead, we find our way over to Mount Tian, Tianhun, where the teleport waypoint is. Here we go. Right over here. Oh, I didn't know that was there. I never knew that there was actual ore over here. Now I do. That's awesome that I know now. Uh, not awaking that one up yet. I'm just going to go ahead. I'd rather try my luck betting on Jade than, than fighting that thing right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, really? There's ore over there, too? There's something over there. Guess I might find out. I might not. Ooh, really? There's a viewpoint up here? Nice. I didn't know about that. Now I do. Nice. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. I don't think I ever got that on any of my other playthroughs. Because I've had a couple at least by now. Hey, GG. Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Cocoa Ghost Adepti Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, poor Chi Chi. <laughs> Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Chi Chi, do you have any other clues? Cocoa goat milk is tasty. So, so tasty. Tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Goat milk. Only an adept beast could make such tasty milk. Okay. I'm Great. sorry. <laughs> poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. Of the milk. That's but why I wrote it down. <laughs> it Where did I put it? Ah. Oh, uh, this is oh no. mine. Coconut milk. Oh no. I think huh? we've been duped no. by <laughs> a child. <laughs> Oh no. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable <laughs> agreement with this zombie child when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind. It's Jolly. okay, Johnny. You didn't know. As the leader of Copper Goat, <laughs> all things are random and um So how are you supposed to predict anything? To predict anything. Literally no <laughs> Oh, no, no, Chi-Chi, no, no. Never, you young thing, never. We just... <laughs> oh, sorry, but Paimon's going to leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. It all begins with the fruit of the coconut tree. Oh. No, impossible. Impossible. Oh, you poor thing. Chi-Chi took this pretty hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You'll need to grow up sometime. <laughs> Someone learned a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking at the Chi-Chi. <laughs> it's Bai too! And she's gonna he's gonna be coming in the next update. Yay! <laughs> Might I ask who? Ah, how rude of me. I'm Baiji, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Boo Boo Pharmacy. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's Chong Chong, and don't say that. Sorry, Steve, a fan. Mm -hmm. Little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi Chi. 
Oh my. The medicine, the snake is speaking. Wow, a talking snake. Nothing in any way surprising me anymore. I prefer to say sorry, but those were strangers. I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet. <laughs> for I am a living, breathing serpent. Ah, and. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind Chung Shung. She's a good girl, really. As for you, <laughs> communal chaos causing a Chi Chi aside, what business brings you? Do you sell everlasting incense in this everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. We did. Three million more. Top oh, gosh. We might as well rob the golden house. Oh, too bad that Chi Chi have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than you. <laughs> I mean, three million. An innocuous number in those though. Practically speaking, it could be a hard It's a crazy number. He'd never be able to make that. <laughs> this is correct. No what shame. Twenty minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> My side. <laughs> Less laughter, more sympathy. Ah, uh, well, to be fair, child, I'm I'm not much the same. I'm almost in tears. I'm not much better. The best laugh I've had in a long time. <laughs> yep. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Kyle. <laughs> one of the. If Fubu Pharmacy needed a stable supply. Strange. I knew that the tree mm -hmm. sold mm -hmm. coconut milk. Baiju heard okay. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Aww. Yes, of course, Chi Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. Oh, good lord, only 10,000 more off the price? Hmm. Ah. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Eugene Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, <laughs> Mr. Chi Chi, see you soon. Oh, gosh. Child's going to get it. He's going to go back to the Sarita and he's going to get What did you do? Paying three, th three million more for me. <laughs> I know, right? It's gonna be. Uh, oh boy. Lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't <laughs> remember the last time I laughed so hard. <laughs> so, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Oh, a lot. Well, well, well. Ming Guang, Guang's her teeth and cronies. What else would they be hiding in the golden house? If not, not the Exuvia. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Oh, great. So he already knows some of the some of the secrets that we're trying to hide from from people. Dang it. Child, why can't you be less <coughs> intelligent? Ooh. I like how the whole I like how the whole city glows at night. Beautiful. You know, I wonder if they're going to have cities that are even bigger than this in, in up future updates. I wonder how big, uh, um, uh, yeah, uh, what's the next region? Not <laughs> Natlin, but uh, I don't know. As it stands, we've hired helpers, <laughs> and we've acquired the everlasting incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Yay! Awesome. <laughs> Fontaine, yeah, that's it. I wonder if they'll have bigger cities in Fontaine. Finally. Well, traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? It's been odd. Odd. I'm not sure if we've been living the high life or experiencing the troubles of the poor. <laughs> <laughs> the questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided to treat you to a meal. 
Zhongli trading? Wow, amazing. Ah, yes, don't worry. <laughs> I will remember to bring the more this time. Sure you Tonight, will. I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, <laughs> praised throughout Lyra. Ah. <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor at third round knockout. Third round knockout. Awesome. Yay! Woohoo! We've made it to rank 29. One more to rank 30. Now, the biggest thing for me going forward is once I get to adventure rank 35, I'm done with adventure ranks for a while. Mainly because adventure rank 35 is the highest you're going to need in order to be able to qualify for any of the Archon quests going forward. At least of as of uh, version 2.56 that we got right now. Now, I would go further, but honestly, getting up to adventure rank 5, I mean, I mean adventure rank 35, will allow me to have access to most, if not all, of the um, artifact domains will allow me to access all of the adventure, I mean, all the Archon quests, but will also allow me to not have to stress about how low-leveled my characters might be. And therefore, it will allow me to have a bit of wiggle room when it comes to getting, um, yeah, getting things squared away with all of my characters before I continue, especially if I end up doing stuff like the um, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Spiral Abyss, that's it. Yeah, so, what time do I need to wait for? 18 to 2300? Okay. But, I will see you guys in the next video for that, because it's going on 43 minutes. Um, but yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna be, um... I'll just be capping myself at level 35 right now, for now, until I can get further along with all my uh, character builds and stuff and get things squared away with that. Anyway, I'll see you guys again next time here on The Wandering Wind. Hope you've been enjoying this, and I will see you again soon. God bless.